Good morning. So, as promised, I'm going to show you my new little puppy. Mr. Buko here is a mini Australian Bernadoodle. He is a little cranky right now. Gave him a bath, did some training, but just wanted to introduce him to the YouTube channel and the family. Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Oh, you're gonna go for a nap now. I know. I know. He has been amazing and just wanted to show him. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. But that's Buko. 10K. Big milestone for me. For a lot of people, it might not be a lot. For some people, they might have taken them a month to get to 10K. But for me, it took a really, really long time. And I think 10K for me is the product of not giving up, perseverance, and setting a goal and accomplishing it, no matter how hard it may be. So I'm really, really proud and grateful that we surpassed 10K. I think at the time of this, we we're at 11.5. So again, thank you to every single one of you that watch, support, and enjoy and find my content to be valuable. It really means a lot to me. Um, and I hope to continue to provide more videos in the future and better videos and all things in between so thank you so much today we're going to be diving into day two of day in the life of a commercial cinematographer and day one last week's video did really really well so i'm grateful that you guys found that to be extremely valuable entertaining and my goal for this day in the life kind of series is for you guys to take away certain aspects that you don't really see in youtube videos or maybe even on sets that you're working on, is the communication between the DP and all the different departments, the director, producer, crew. So hopefully in today's video, day two, you will get an extended version of that. You'll see more communication uh, between me, the director, producers, the crew, and also an added bonus that I think is gonna be extremely beneficial to a lot of you is I'm gonna start today's BTS video with our biggest setup. It wasn't the first, set of the day but it was towards the end but i think it's the most entertaining i think it's the biggest set of the most things going on and i'm going to be interrupting to describe the lighting setup that we have how we accomplished it and i'm also going to be sharing some stills from the commercial so you have a reference of what it actually looks like from bts to the final frame so hopefully you find those two little added bonuses to be beneficial and yeah without further ado let's dive into day two Good morning, um, day two today. We're still at the airport, but today we are shooting the train, which is gonna be cool. We're in the new metro location, um, brand new. It's gorgeous, the architecture is really nice. Um, hopefully it'll be a simpler day, but fingers crossed. Um, we're gonna start outside, then come in, and yeah, it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna start with the outside, showing them getting onto the train, so we're pretty much just gonna utilize natural light, bounce, maybe a little bit of a hard edge, augment that and some neg and then we're going to light the interior of the train that'll be fun while it's moving and then we're going to come down here and try to light some of this um yeah it's gonna be a good day so did we eat lee because i know we had the intention of originally starting lower on the suitcase and then kind of coming up in terms of that i don't know if that makes sense time wise right I would just be careful with that because I felt a little rock. Felt a little yeah. Rough. Yeah. In two seconds, if we can see them and then see the sign, I think that's nice. Okay. We're getting hit by a lot of like hard light right now. So there's some things happening that I wasn't aware of. What were things happening? Well, the barn doors pinched in. I see. It was also not, it was also spotted in, so here's flooded. Here's just, there, we're gonna, we also walk it back so you don't see the source. Okay. So it's just more of a light streak coming through. Because we don't have time to go full body, like right. legs to head, all the way up. them because of the wardrobe. Um, okay. Damn, it always gets me when I'm eating. Fuck. <laughs> I have the mic though. Okay. <laughs> Good, that's even better. Um, right, get so the shopping. I, talking. <laughs> um, right, so. <laughs> <laughs> let's start here. And then we'll have like our feet will be this, right? And one, two, three, drop there. Yeah. So we're ramping up. 
I think, can we see what that looks like? I think, what's up? I know, I, we're gonna see what that looks like, yeah. Okay. Let's start lower real quick. Coming down. Yeah. How fast can we get up? Yeah, let's see. Why is it going like Just watch your, okay, stop, watch your stop. Let's move up with it. Yeah, that's what I want to try to see if we can do it quickly. Nice. It works. Man, we should have been rolling. Yeah, <laughs> we should have rolled on you. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah. I feel like everyone's happy now. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. That was nice. Nice, Mike. Let's do it again. You want a good starting point there? Yeah, that's nice actually. I actually like this starting. Um, personally, like I think it looks nice. You in front, like or the talent in front, where you were initially. Yeah, because that that's also quicker for you for you guys in the edit. It's quicker. Uh, do you want a monitor to walk with? No. All right. And three, two, one, push in. Go up. Stop. So it's got to be simultaneous. Yep. Copy that. Compound. <laughs> Copy compound. How's it look? Let's do it one more time. Okay. It's the shot of the century, man. No one's ever done anything like it. Shitty rig. <laughs> right. Slow. All right. Three, Slow. two, one, go. Boom up. So I got to end. So when we come up to the when we come up to the logo, do we want to kind of just get rid of them entirely and just focus on this? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And the hope is that you're still moving too a little bit. So yeah. You get like one second of like move, 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 and mm -hmm. then it will be done. Okay. I think what we should do, if we have an additional hand, one person focus on pushing, you focus on the booming. Yeah, we can do that. No. <laughs> But that's meant for, yeah. It's so, meant for dolly track, it's roughly the same size. So, so it's roughly the same size as dolly track? Talk about a cheaper alternative. <laughs> it does work. Who, who wants to uh, do some boomage? Uh, if you want to find a grip that wants to either do pushing or, we should have two people to do this. Okay. That'd be the best way to do it. We can have two people. Stupid question. What's stopping us from Right now? Talent? Uh, I mean, kind of. From your side, just yeah. talent? Kind of. Okay. Or like rehearsal, pretty much. Start bringing. Um, also, I just, I'm going to tighten up a few lighting things. Sure. But, good yeah. What's that? People crossing or anything like that? Or people in the station? So, Pedro, I don't. I don't like it. Is it worse? Yeah, I don't like it at all, to be honest. Back I, think, I think you're onto something with... Two people, yeah, 100%. It's, it's such a short yeah. run, having to watch the screen and then make sure I don't push you off the rail. Yep. <laughs> all right, let's go down. Oh, I feel like these pants are constricting my flexibility here. I, I am a big fan. They're not for America. speed, they're for the cuffing. Thank you. Taking the socks. I need to start getting some cuffing. It's all about high fashion here. Yeah. Yeah. Fine, bro. Fine dining. All right, so let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Nice. That works. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Yeah. I think we have to see it with talent, obviously. But I mean, if you guys, if you guys kind of want to just like practice on your own, feel free to. Four more to go, right? They don't tell us that. Kind Three. Of Extend it to another two. Okay. <laughs> that was good. Can I have you guys stand right around here? Thank you. Facing there. Yep. Stop. Slowing down. That's my. That's kind of your end mark, yeah. A little like jitter. There's a little bump, yeah. I mean, there's probably a burr on the speed rail. We are using speed rail for tracks. So. Yeah. 
Okay. Right. All right. Uh, June and Tina. Right. We're gonna action rehearsal. Okay. One. Here we go. Three. Two. One. Action rehearsal. Go ahead. Background action. Nope. Try to slow a little bit, see? Right yeah. yep. Hey, June and Tina, are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, action. So what I'm doing also, I'm just adding a light over there to add a little bit of edge on the front side of them as they're walking. Three, two, one, background, action. So hopefully you're enjoying this BTS so far, and now let's talk a little bit about this setup here. So for context in the story, this couple here is walking into the train station for the first time. Our goal for this shot was to be able to show them, then also show the sign of the train station. My initial concern was timing. As a DP, I always like to talk to the director about the edit, so I can better inform my camera movements to help the edit. Since this is a very short piece, we can't really hold shots for longer than 3-4 to four seconds. Our initial plan was to start on the bags and boom up to the sign. It took way too long to do that, so we adjusted to showing the top third of them walking in. We dolly forward, boom up, tilt up at a decent pace to accomplish the shot we needed, and it worked great. The lighting for this scene was pretty much natural. We wanted to show off this environment and the windows and the natural light that came in, but when I say natural, a lot goes into making something look natural. As you can see, there are a lot of lights that we used. So before we add any lights to the set, my gaffer and I, Pedro, have a discussion about what we're looking to accomplish. We look at the space, we look at where the natural light's hitting, and then we work from there. The first major light we set up was the Lightstar Luxed 9 light, set at daylight at 100% and bounced into a 6x6 ultra bounce. The reason for this light was to increase the ambience in the space that we were in, where the camera was, and where the talent was. We wanted to just give a nice ambient lift and a good base level so we can work from there. From there, we wrapped the talent with a bit more of a defined edge with the Cream Source Vortex 8. Also at daylight, we shot this through a 4x frame of Opal Diffusion, which helps soften the harshness but still give a crisp light to wrap the talent camera right. Next, we needed a light to keep a consistent level on their backside the entire walkthrough. So we opted to use a pipe light sausage light on a menace arm with rollers. Having this light on rollers gave my gaffer Pedro the flexibility to move the light with the camera and with talent. So if we didn't have these rollers and the light was stationary, as the camera moves forward, as the talent moves forward, they would be moving out of the light and significantly get darker. So those were our base lights to give us the general look we were going for, and then from there we had to add some texture and add some pop. The first thing we did was add an Aperture 1200D with a Fresnel, with a bunch of flags to create a little slash on the back wall. For me, this just added a little bit of texture, a little bit of interest in the back instead of just having it be a flat wall. The next thing we did was add a Aperture 600D with a spotlight attachment, and that light was used to highlight the name of the train station. We shaped the light using the Leco to pretty much frame out the entire words, just add a little bit of a highlight, add a little bit of a pop so the words stood out instead of it just falling a little bit into the darkness. The last thing we added was the Stereotitan tubes inside of the security booth. The reason why we opted to do this was because there was really no light inside of there and it was just kind of falling into darkness. I wanted to add those tubes as a top light so it was just a nice ambient lift in there. Also, we set the Astera tubes to a warmer color temperature which allowed for a bit more of a comfort feeling. Warmth for me is more inviting, it's more comforting, it, it spoke to the, the style and the feeling we were going for throughout this commercial of just warm, inviting, easy going. So adding those warm Astera Titan tubes inside the security booth was a nice touch to add a little bit of lift and bring some texture into the background there. In terms of camera movement here, working with my Dolly Grip mic, we were rehearsing a bunch here to get the proper movement, speed, and also boom speed as well. We opted to bring on another operator to specifically work the boom control and the speed. Having two people work this allowed each of them to focus on their specific task. After a bunch of rehearsals, we were able to accomplish the proper speed, pacing, and boom speed to get the shot that we needed. So hopefully you enjoyed that little breakdown of this particular scene. Just want to give a big shout out to my crew who helped make all this happen. So one more thing before we dive into the BTS. This is not a sponsored ad, but I just want to give some love to Lamp Candy. They were the rental house that provided majority of the gear that we used throughout this production. They serve camera gear, G&E gear, they also support production with chairs, tables, anything you really need. 
in the Philly, Delaware, uh, Virginia, DC, Pennsylvania area, I would definitely recommend checking out Lamp Candy. They have everything you need and they are amazing human beings. So thank you for providing us with amazing support for this production. So now let's go back and enjoy the rest of the BTS. It's like if you saw an edge, if you saw like one edge. Yeah, like does that give it something, you know? I, yeah, I like right? that. Like an I edge. would prefer this side if that's okay with you, rather than like near sure. sided. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And yeah, then it's just like how else can we make it this? interesting? Um, at you know what's a little bit. Yeah, what's interesting is if we go to like a 35. And then we back up a little bit, like it mm -hmm. might, it might. Um, yeah. So as long as you're okay that more with shallow. not seeing both sides, then the 35 would work. Right. Yeah. Right, I was. Right. I just put this on. So. Oh, I know. 100. percent I agree. Right. I agree. But is there anything else? Any other way we can make it interesting? Like, is there any other? I mean, we could try depth to get some foreground. I know. That's what I was thinking. Like, like is there any way art could put something just oh, randomly? Well, you know what you could do. We could do the same idea. Yeah. We could do the wreath idea, mm -hmm. and like put that on that pole, on a pole, and then have that as a little bit of a foreground. Yeah. Can I borrow the camera real quick? I don't care. BTS, here we go. Do what you want, yeah. All right, let's see, ready? Oh boy. This is for Matt Stanball. You gotta grab the camera every once in a while. The thing is though, when you can't even get it off, I'm not helping. this is great. <laughs> Make sure you're getting it. Get, it. get a really good detail shot, good. So what we'll do is, go ahead. <laughs> that was so classic. <laughs> That's like my tripod and my camera. I can't even work it. It's great. Okay, we're going to go over here. So if we had... <laughs> oh, what a turd. All right. So I think... We can get a wreath right there. Exactly, right? Wreath, and then we get up kind of high. What's up, guys? Um, we're at the Metro shoot uh, day two. We're at Zealous Airport, and so we're at the top uh, where the train meets the airport. Uh, and so we're getting ready to shoot the establishing shot. A um, little cloudy today, but... That's okay, it's just gonna make for a nice plate uh, later on in post. Um, and then once the train arrives, we're gonna have our folks getting on the train. And after that, we're gonna get on, get on the train, shoot the interiors of that. Uh, and then we'll go downstairs and shoot them actually um, coming inside the station, meeting the station manager. Um, easy, simple process, reliable, trustworthy, comfortable, fun. And um, yeah, we got a good crew, I'm excited. Put this on the train. Oh, yeah. uh, it should be arriving soon, and I think we'll try to push it on and see if it'll go on and then find like a center aisle. Okay. Yeah, that'd be kind of interesting. Lower. Uh, preferably a little bit higher. Okay. And then, Carla, what are your thoughts on if we still see the edge? I think it'd be interesting to still see the edge on the left. So, yeah, something like that, maybe. Yeah. I know that sign's there too. I had figured it would be. We have the snow coming in. Like, shouldn't it just be like a clean shot? Simple. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm loving the Wes Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, it's like if we had to add some depth of field to make it interesting, because I think that is a is a fine. Cool. Do you agree, conservative shot? I think it's the safe bet. Yeah, exactly. It's the standard That's what I'm shot saying. that we need. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then if we can somehow get some the 35 more depth of field, because maybe the 35 would give that more depth of field, the um, the wreath, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, that would definitely help for sure. Could be wrong, but I, I think don't know. If we do the wreath, I feel like we want to see a little bit of this. Otherwise, it just looks like a floating thing. It does. And you're like, what's the thing? Someone's yeah. Just yeah, yeah. Uh, I agree. This is nice. Let's like just a couple inches left. Not much. E just a tickle. Uh huh. Tickle. About half an inch. I think it tickles half an inch. A scooch is like a quarter inch. All right. So how many how many tickles do you want me to go over? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tilt down a little. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. This is good. I think we can roll on this. Uh, I can't get it over there. Oh my god, I love you.
people going into the drain or coming out. Sure. So you have a little bit behind them, but not too much. Well, so I mean the exterior yeah. of the very back. So it's like the back cart yes. and then the one right in front of it. So the not not six, but like looks good. Yeah, it looks. But if we do that, we lose the shot because then the frame, because right now the, the back of the train is going to give us the the watchtower. We might have to wash it, really. Like, yeah. I guess we'll just have to see on camera. Yeah. I can get. I wonder if because Carlo just... was like, oh, we can, there's no. No, way but he can't it. back up. Right, because if we get him pat or we get him here, right, and we want to see the watchtower or whatever, he can't go back and give us train number yeah. five. We gotta think about that. A train in the shot as possible so that we don't have to show the less ideal exterior. And so just figure out a way to have show as less as possible and get in the shot and get out. And that's in the edit too. Less but as possible meaning uh, in terms of showing the, the train exterior. Okay. Yeah, in the terms of how so we choose. Based on the, the actual scene here though, they're walking towards, would the train not even be here in theory? Like they're waiting for the train? Could that be the shot? Oh, yeah. Why Why is the train even here? I guess you want to show them getting on the train. Yeah, yeah that would be from the next shot, though. Oh, you want to show... No, what I'm saying, you're, we don't want to... Sh you're trying to say, how can we not show the, the exterior. train? Exterior. You're saying you could... They're walking up, but they're not rushing to get into the train. They're sure. just looking around. Why is the train there? They would just get in. Right, right. But I thought you were saying... Shoot them now without the train. That's what I'm saying. Right? Go inside and then shoot them walking on from the inside. And then. No, no, no. Oh. Shoot. Because that would shoot get this. you. Well, we can do that, but right. shoot this now while they're waiting for the train empty. We see this yeah. in the background. Right. We come to that profile shot. That's where we show them getting in. Oh, yeah. I was trying to cut out that profile shot. Oh, then that's fine too. That's to fine. save time to get back yeah, down. Because we, we talked about saving time, less time up here with Jeff and, and all just, that. Let's shoot this now. Like that's this, what I'm saying. Yeah. And then yeah. just shoot them coming in from the interior potentially. Oh, uh, you could do it that way too. Right. If we right. don't show the exterior at all, because right. technically, to be right. honest, it's really ugly. Okay. Right. Watch tower shot though? Watch we got that in the. And when they're, if they're waiting. Yeah, it would be in the shot, yeah. yeah okay. Do I just wonder if the sign is. Yeah. Set it up. Oh, just, I already have the actors in front. We're just gonna. Yeah. Do we want to shoot it just to have it? I don't know. Well, alright. What are your. What are you uh, not feeling about it? Um. I don't know if it's gonna work. It's an it's an added Can shot. It, it's gonna it's an added shot. Once we get inside, then we have to show them getting on the, the train, right? Versus just sitting down and planning for that. Now we have to show them getting on. Would it make sense? Right. The doors have to be opening. They have to be getting on. That's a whole yeah. thing. I'm trying to also so like think about the edit too. How would this cut? What would the best cut from here be? So from here, if we shoot no train. What would be the next best shot? Interior, getting on the train from into the shots inside the train, right? Inside, here's the train, camera's here, they're walking on from outside. Doors are open, all that, right? And we're just not planned for that, it's just not, because then you have to see outside and the doors are gonna be open, we don't know what that's gonna look like, um, I don't know. Are you, so what are you against the profile for? Just more time, it's just we don't, like, I don't want to be late again. They added a, another shot on us so that we need to get down there, you know, later. So, yeah. And I told that on the phone yesterday. I said, if you add another shot in, I got to lose something. I said, so let me do one shot of them getting on the train and that's it. And they said, okay, please. So I don't want to see how far away the, the airport is. What if we do this? This is the only, this is another I think way that we could probably hide it. If I go a little bit more shallow on the camera, the one four, they come closer to camera a little bit. Focus on them. The train will be more out of focus. Sure. Some of the blemishes. Sure. Yeah. If anyone ever asks. Yeah. You could do that. <laughs> you could do that. That's cool. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good with that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Wait, hold on. What is the plan here? That's cool. Talking to Pedro about. Curious what you think. Okay. Right here. Swung out the nine lights. Some cars right here. Okay. 
Yeah. Like as an edge coming in? Yeah. His front side? Yeah, no, that, right. that would be... Right? You yeah, agree with that? Yeah. 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 Uh, so we're on the train platform, and uh, hold on, let me think. That's five seconds, dude. <laughs> That's all you, That's all you get. Cuss to me. We're on the train platform. So we're currently on the train platform. We have a couple things planned. We have a 1200 smacking into an ultra bounce up here, and our hero is. Don't look at me, bro. <laughs> Carl, let's get a five five second update. Uh, shot has changed due to the dirtiness of the train car. We're adjusting, uh, but that's part of it. Problem solving is the name of filmmaking. That was at least eight seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I like the shape. I like this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> just, I appreciate it. it. Yeah. Let me try it. Yeah. Perfect. Please see it there. From me, so I'll get that. Is it locking at all? And then maybe the phone. Right here. Yeah, not really. Sure. Uh, I'm And then go ahead and look at the phone for us, Chelsea. Do you have to post them? No. Well, I would say it's more sidey, right? It's got to be sidey. Oh, that's cute. That was pretty. Yeah, that looks pretty, guys. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Guys, you're voting me. I have it controlled. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like trying to shake it. Yeah, we'll shake it. Yeah. They could also do that in post, though, too. Yeah, yeah. Me too, me too. All right, so we'll do some versions, okay? Ready? I'm going to stay rolling the whole time. There's no audio, or maybe there might be audio, so uh, be mindful of that. But I want to do a lo really long take of a lot of options, okay? okay. Do I is that cool? Speak or no? um, yeah, you can. Yeah. Aw. Okay. Oh, is that who you're going to go see? Yep. Cool. Okay. okay. The headset has to come off. Yeah, I'll go. I know. I want to do a shot with it because I like it. Camera speed. Seven feet, take one. And three, two, one, action. <laughs> Great. Look out the window. You don't have to smile. Just kind of have your your already lips closed. Okay. Um, and you're not totally shocked when you, like when you turn your head. You're just like curious. You look over. Huh? What is that? Yeah. But not concerned. You don't know yet. Someone's just tapped you. You're just gonna look over. You're not gonna be concerned or anything. All right. Three, two, one. Action. So cute. Oh. And back out. And cut. Uh, so the next thing is figuring out where the phone will be placed down naturally. I did his lap, felt a little crotchy. Um, uh, so I had the phone here, like if it were just laying. And then like I was like, eh, I kind of felt like we're going to his crotch. Here, just go. There we go. Cool. And then so like. I'm trying to find naturally, like you just showed her the photo and then you sat it down. So I'm just trying to make that feel real. Yeah, like that, like that. You set it down, you sat it down, and then you adjusted it, and then you put your hand away. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, keep going. And then face it towards us a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Yep. Go ahead and sit the phone down one more time. Like you were just looking at it, Have, like hold it in your hand, your left hand if you were looking at it. Perfect. Good. Yeah, so it has to be natural. So let's say you're holding it, you're like, and that's it, right? So you're holding it with your left hand, you sit it down. Yeah, like that. Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 
Do you, <laughs> do you think it would make sense? I know we're kind of faking it, but obviously all this is fake. The light that was coming from that streak on the wall, yeah. do you think it would make sense if we sneak it behind this? We could try anything. Yeah, I think we try that maybe. Because I think I need something back here. Well, look, can we do, take a look at the frame? Absolutely. So I know we're just using the frame and keep It's close to yeah. all these turnstiles. An 8 by might do it for you. Yeah. Can we get high on that light? Yeah. Or someone on that? Get some wedges. Can we boom up? Yeah. My job again. No, you're fine, dude. <laughs> you're the captain of the ship. I'm just here. Can we um, can we truck forward? Trucking? Yeah. yeah. Let's see what it looks like at a slightly faster pace. Faster? Yeah. Thank you. All right, Mike, let's go. Ready? Yep. Uh, let's try one more time. Yep. Speed. This is 35. Because if you do 24, we get more of this. Okay. And then we get more of this in the foreground. Did you buy it? And I can bring them a little bit closer for a little bit more depth. Okay, let's try what it. What do you think? I'm, I'm open to trying it, yeah. Let's see. Real quick, before we even, I could just sure. pop it up on the phone. Okay, yeah, good yeah. idea, good idea. That's 24? This is... That's 20. 24. Yeah. It's not that big of a difference. It's not much of a difference. But I do see, I like seeing... So it could also be how they're positioned. They can come up more s towards us a little bit right, more, right, right, right. which I think would be really nice. Yeah. Just like a tiny bit. Yeah. Like, because right now they're like awkwardly yeah. left a little bit. It's like a little bit more yeah. center. Yeah. yeah. Tiny bit. Perfect. <laughs> I did. Or, no, Pedro told me. <laughs> Pedro told me. All right, let's push in, Mike. Uh, you said that if I disconnect it, it'll pair up more. And we just need us. We just need to separate them a little bit more, or like maybe just another key light here. Maybe something. Yeah, but that, you want to wrap. I think I wrap a little bit more. Yeah, we could wrap this a little. Yeah, just come over a little bit. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah, I like it. Me too. I like it a lot. Me too. Yeah. Day two. I don't know if you've seen the shitty rig rails, but it works really well. I mean, that's what we got them for. It's just a matter of like. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking kind of coming in straight and kind of coming into them. Yeah, at least like another turnstile or two. Yeah, hey guys, also needs to go like two turnstiles over. And if you can boom it out a little more before you go up. And then, that's why I was like, dude, I don't know. It's just skinny. It's weird. Light leaks still. It's coming in. Us, there's a curiosity to a. Uh, Right, and so that sort of head movement communicates a lot, right? And so you're kind of like curious what he's showing. Oh, bro, you know what I mean? Something like that, okay? Come in. It's all in the, it's all in the, the details. Okay. The details, man. Right back. You guys are good. Very good. And that's a wrap on day two. Great work with you. So that's a wrap on day two of a day in the life of a commercial cinematographer. Hopefully you enjoyed this little series. I would love to do a ton more of these, and I probably will. But I think these are extremely beneficial to a lot of you, and you get really a, a glimpse into what it's really like on set, especially with the raw aspect of just keeping the cam the BTS camera rolling the entire time, hearing conversations, hearing debates, hearing 
uh, all the different things that go on throughout a set I think is extremely valuable to a lot of you and hopefully you find it to be valuable as well. And again, I just want to say thank you to everyone who helped get us to 10,000 subscribers. It is a huge milestone and I am very excited to keep creating content for you guys. If you find this video on my channel to be beneficial and valuable to your life, share this with a friend, subscribe, like, comment, let me know what your thoughts are. But that's it for today. I will see you next time. Have a great day and peace out.